said it's a rainbow, but who knows how big. Oh, there he is right there. Whoa. All right. Whoa, came out. There you go. The old chrome and blue cripple lure. We're one for one. One on the brass in her head and one on the chrome and blue. Let's take a look at that fish. Oh, he's a beauty. He'll look good on the stringer. That's for sure. Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. You know, when I was a kid, I'd go to the tackle shop and I would just stand there as long as I could and I would look at all the different lures and, you know, I would be daydreaming about the potential, you know, which lure would catch fish. Man, I'd be visualizing myself catching a big old trout or a big old bass on one of those lures. And uh, I used to buy one occasionally, but mostly I'd kind of stand there and daydream and drool. But one of the things, you know, when I was a youngster, I never understood is why would you buy a clear lure I, I it's clearer almost clear that that would just made me you know really wonder you know what are what are people thinking why would you buy a lure that is the you know virtually the same color as the water well I can tell you now with decades of fishing experience under my belt that clear lures are some of the most effective offerings you can use whether you're fishing for black bass or trout or whatever um, and I'm not exactly sure why. Um, partially, I think it's because the presentation is so subtle, and I don't think that the fish can really dial in on the lure. I think they get glimpses of it, they can feel it, they can feel the vibration, but they can't see it as well as they'd see, you know, a lot of other finished lures, and I think that really helps to trigger strikes. Here's one of my favorite lures for trolling. Um, these are my apexes and uh, and my pro my pro troll lures, um, but this one right here, this is my hands down favorite, a clear UV apex. Number two choice would be watermelon, but this is my number one choice for trout, landlocked kings, or kokanee. If I'm gonna fish an apex style lure, if I think that's gonna be effective. This is the very first one I try, and I've caught so many nice fish on that thing. I've caught several kokanee over 18 inches. I've caught, you know, four, four and a half pound kings on that, and I've caught, you know, four and five pound rainbows on that. Um, and it's something I use in deep water. It makes no sense. The UV finish makes sense in deep water, but, uh, you know, by and large, it has no color. It's just very subtle. It probably shouldn't work but it absolutely does. Um, same thing goes for minnow plugs. You know, this is a pearl, but it's practically clear. Um, I've done very well on this. I've done great on clear Zara spooks. Uh, you might have caught my video last year I did out at Clementine Reservoir. I was popping this for bass and I was absolutely killing them on the clear plastic tiny Rebel Pop R. That's just a really cool bait, by the way. It is so tiny. So anyway, I like small poppers. A lot of times when the bass are, are being finicky, man, you toss that out there with a spinning rod on some six pound test and uh, bam, you're gonna get one. Again, clear lure. Um, I like to run clear um, finesse worms when I'm out for black bass. So I'm going to Folsom Lake, either a clear or a clear blue flake worm is probably going to be my first choice. Again, I just think that the subtlety of a clear lure, it just flat out works. And of course, I fish it with a lot of confidence and that's probably part of the, the, the key to the effectiveness of it. You got to believe in what you're fishing. But I can tell you, if you're not fishing clear lures, um, you're missing out. Here's one of my favorites. I've talked about this a little bunch. It's not clear. It's your um, standard Max Lure Chrome and Blue Cripple Lure. But let's look at it from one side and then let's look at it from the other. There's the standard side. You can see the blue tape and all that. There's the back side. It's chrome over there. But what do you see when you look through the center? Not much. You see air. It's hollow inside. Solid, hollow, solid, hollow. I think part of the effectiveness of this lure is it rolls. And the fish, they feel it, they come in, they see it, 
they don't. They see it, they don't. They keep losing visual contact with the lure and it really triggers those strikes. And I suspect it's the same thing with that, with that UV clear apex. I think they feel it. I think they come in looking for it. I think they, they, they know right where it is with their lateral line, but they're not really able to dial in on it visually. And I think when they get a little glimpse of it, they commit, they strike, and you got them. So it's just my observations. If you don't have some clear lures in your tackle arsenal, and I don't care if you're a trout guy, salmon guy, black bass, stripers, whatever I, I don't have it with me um, my favorite zara spook of all time is that one that's just clear you can see the ball bearings in it it's just a clear piece of plastic and it is absolutely deadly so in closing get yourself some clear lures do a little bit of experimenting with them and i think you're gonna like the results you know sometimes you want that bright finish sometimes you want that fire tiger you want to blow them out of the water you want them to see it man you want you want to you know ring a fire fire engine siren at them but other times it pays to be subtle and there's nothing more subtle than a clear lure so get yourself some anyway this is cal kellogg that's our tip for today i'm signing off Please subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for all the support, and I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube. Anyway, you guys have a great day.